Hello friends, it's Mike Parsons here at Bluegrass with Friends. And we had a getting a lot of requests. Of course, I haven't put many videos out lately, been pretty busy doing what I do, which is giving lessons most of the time and playing music. But so we're trying to uh, get to all those requests and let you know that we're, yeah, we're actually paying attention to you. I mean, we care. So here we are going to do Gentle on My Mind on this long neck banjo, which has like a couple extra frets. And so three as a matter of fact, three extra frets. So uh, instead of being in G, you go back two frets, you're in F. And one more now, playing what looks like a G chord here to the normal five string banjo is an E chord. So, gentle on my mind in E. So, it also makes it easier to sing because it's lower. In it. If you have a baritone voice like I do, then it makes it pretty good. All right, so here we go. It's moaning at your doors, always open, and your path is free to walk. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. And it's knowing I'm not shackled by forgotten words and bones or the ink stains that have dried upon some lines. show you what I did all right so I was doing this walk down from E F sharp now hold on here E D sharp uh, let me see that's gonna be C sharp and then B right so sorry about that I'm used to thinking about this in normal banjo uh, terms so we're on the fifth fret. I'll just go on 
terms of frets here. So, sometimes I was doing this uh, alternating thumb pattern. That one will work good. Or the forward reverse pattern. So the, the alternating thumb pattern is 4, 2, 5, 1, 4, 2, 5, 1. Forward reverse roll, which is four, two, one, five, one, two, four, one. So usually that roll is three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. But since we're doing this walk down on the fourth string, we're gonna go four, two, one, five, one, two, four, one. Okay, so then I threw in that other roll. Which is an, uh, it's another forward reverse roll. Four, two, one, five, one, two, four, one, five, two, one, five, one, two, four, one. So you're just doing the fifth string. Five, two, one, five, one, two, four, one. At the end of the second roll. And then here we go to an A, uh, what's an A minor shape? Of course, uh, E, that makes it an F sharp minor chord. Hey, my brain's working. Watch out. Something might implode here and it'd be my head. So there's that same roll. Three, two, one, five, one, two. Three. One, two, three, one, five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. And then you're back to that alternating thumb pattern. Three, two, five, one, three, two, five, one, three, two. Notice I'm walking down from the second fret of my A minor chord to the first fret and then the open. I'm going to a D shaped chord, which is going to be a B chord in this case. So sounds with the forward reverse roll this is how it sounds with the alternating thumb roll there's your D shape and then back to the G so that's about it there is not a whole bunch uh, else to this song other than, let's say that you wanted to play a solo in that song, and, and John Hartford does a solo when he does that, of course. He wrote the song. So you need to know where the basic melody is. And so it's based off this first string, being the melody note. It's going out, your door is open. So that's the third fret, or the first string open, and then the second string open. Knowing that your door is always open and your path is free. So, O2 on the first string, second string open, second fret of the third string open, third string, and then the root note of that A minor shape, which is the uh, D minor chord. And then that leads me to. So one, one, one on the second string, one, 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 back to the first string open, second string open, Sec second fret of the third string, open third string, second string open. Okay, so the uh, so I don't think that the melody is too much more complicated than that. So let me show you how the hard part about playing the banjo is knowing which rolls to use. And what dictates what roll you use is by what string your melody is on. Like down here, I was doing my first note of the measure was th this walk down was what was important. So... This three two four two five one the forward reverse roll or the alternating thumb hits 
can hit that string first. Of course, so could a forward roll. And so, a forward roll can hit the second string first. So, let's try it that way. Since this is a melody on the third string, I went to that forward reverse roll. Stop doing rolls and play the melody. And then throw in some licks. So hopefully you can get a little bit of that going on here. And uh, I sure appreciate you watching. Please continue to comment. Don't forget you can, I got a Patreon. You can pledge to give me five bucks a month or something. That'd be great. Help me. Keep doing this, and uh, I sure appreciate you watching. And remember, this is all about spending quality time with your loved ones. So get your friends together, get you some bluegrass with friends books, and learn how to play music together. Spread the love.